Hey there clan, Scottish Warrior and Nato here, I'm just making sure my mic's on and I've got this saying because I've done this before where I've actually fucked up and left the mic out. <laughs> um, but long time no see, it's been a wee while since I've uploaded the video, but as it is, college has been a bitch, let's just say that. Um, but this is a little important, this is kind of an important update, I do have something to discuss uh, from a previous video where I talked about I've been offered a place from a network, I finally made my decision and I will let you all know that fairly shortly a little bit later in this video, but I'm just going to make this a quick clan update about some stuff because I just may as well wrap up in one video, so... Firstly, uh, for those, first I want to get the thing out of the way, um, if you haven't heard, uh, THQ has sold off quite a lot of their rights. For those that know, THQ has filed for a form of bankruptcy, basically, in which, basically, from what, I can, what I've can, been able to find out, is they're not bankrupt and they haven't gone into administration just yet, but they are desperate and they are on the verge of bankruptcy. Um, and this is a sad day, in my opinion, game, because THQ is one of the few publishers who I can actually stand. Um, there are very few publishers, in my opinion, that actually are good publishers who actually let their developers do the majority of the stuff that they want to do. Now, THQ is not perfect. They have done the things in the past that I do not agree with. Um, but it is sad to, do, sad to say, but, un but, luckily, but unfortunately, this has um, resolved. I've got the article up here, and many franchises, uh, I'll get the full list up here, just give me a moment. Uh, many franchises getting sold off to various companies. Uh, the Company of Heroes, Relic, and Warhammer 40,000 have been sold to Sega. That's great. Uh, Coke, Coke Media has bought owners of Dead Island and that have purchased the Saints, have agreed to purchase Saints Row developer uh, Volatile, Ga Volatile Games, which is good. Like, Saints Row is a great series and the Metro franchise. Crytek has agreed to buy Homefront and uh, Take Two, who partner company with T 2K and Rockstar, have purchased the Total Rock Studios project named Evolution. Uh, uh, Ubisoft are supposed to go to buy a South Park game, but that's apparently because South Park, if you don't know what the South Park creators have opened their own studio, so that could change. But it is a sad day in my opinion because THQ was one of the few developers that I could actually like, that I actually liked. But it is a sad day in game and to see that they possibly will be going under because they published a lot of games. And it is good to hear that some of the franchises that they did help make and help publish will survive. But with under, under new management, which could be a bad, both a good and a bad thing. Um, he was home to the future, and I do, and my condolences and my sorrows for all THQ employees who may or may, may have lost their jobs or will possibly lose their jobs. I hope you're the best because you've produced some pretty damn awesome games. I'll happily admit, Saints Row is definitely one of those games that I, that I absolutely love. And uh, of course, there are some others like the WWE franchise, which was published by THQ. That's still debatable. I am a fan of the WWE franchise. I didn't watch it so much, but I did play the games a wee bit. But. I just wanted to get that out there and put my condolences out there and uh, I hope that THQ can turn this around and survive in some way, shape or form, but it's looking doubtful as so well. Apologies, just wanted to get that out there. Uh, also, uh, for those that know, I will be streaming on Saturday and use, well, basically chose Half-Life 2. I'm going to be streaming Half-Life 2. It's only about £7-£8 on uh, Steam and he's, he's hoping a little deal comes off somewhere. But I've never played Half-Life 2. I've never watched a playthrough of it, so this is going to be my full-on reaction to a game that I know virtually nothing about. I've never, been a, I didn't play a lot of first-person games in the past. I apologize, I need some more. Uh, but I am really looking forward to playing because it it's a game. Now a lot of people say I should play Half-Life 1, but then a lot more people say to play Half-Life 2. So Half-Life 2 it is. I might watch a playthrough of Half-Life 1 before I play Half-Life 2 because I can only really get one Half-Life 1 or Half-Life 2. And if I like Half-Life 2 enough and I complete the stream, which is a fairly lengthy game, so it will be two and, it will be roughly about a two to two and a half hour stream. So do do expect it be, to be quite lengthy. Um, but I will be streaming two to to roughly about two hours if I can. Uh, of each each Saturday where I'll be streaming the next part of the Half-Life 2. And if I can, I will try and do maybe two streams a week. It all depends on my schedule and my college work, but Hopefully I should be able to at least get one a week and that's about two hours per week of Half-Life 2 which then will go up on the channel, do not worry about that, that will be another playthrough. Uh, also a quick update on the Heavy Rain playthrough, I do apologise there hasn't been a lot of Heavy Rain but it's just been extremely tricky to film because I can't exactly film, uh, when I play Heavy Rain I get quite loud so I can't do it while my family's in the house so I have to wait for them to get out which I, unfortunately I'm very rarely left in the house myself and the times that I am left in the house whenever I have planned other videos or I'm shattered from college. So I do apologise for that. Uh, also, I have uh, finished Hitman Absolution. I finished the story a day or two ago. Uh, I will be reviewing it shortly. I just wanted, I'm debating whether or not I should do a little something. I, I, I'm not going to say what it is, but I do have in mind a little something at the start of the review 
uh, or the end of review, I'm still 100% but I, I've, I'm going to review it fairly shortly, so uh, quick request out there, if any uh, any talented artists out there want to make me a title card for the Hitman Absolutions review, you have until, I'll say, I'll use until Friday, I'll use until Thursday, like you've got just over a day, I do apologise for this, but I want to get this Hitman review out as soon as possible, I'll say Thursday at the, Thursday at the earliest, Friday at the latest, but... I, I'm, I, it was here Thursday or Friday I'm going to make the review and if you do want to make a title card you will be get you will get a shout out, you will get credit and you will get linked to your YouTube channel, your web page, your Twitter or whatever you want. So if you want me to be Hitman you're more than welcome to. So that's that. Um, also I'm going to be filming another Warriors Delight sometime this week. I've got a couple of things here that I haven't tried before. That, oh shit, sorry. That uh, I thought why not do a Warriors Delight on because for some strange reason you like to watch me eat food. Or drink hot chocolate. Uh, but I've got a couple. Come on, get. I've got a couple of things here I've never tried before, but uh, but I really am excited. Really want to try. Um, first things are these Lindor Lenore things. Like for those who don't know, it's a very very delicious chocolate. I've already. I've, I've had normal Lenore, like the red ones, but I've never had the gold ones or the blue ones. I understand why these are a cookie flavored one or something. My my mom said, but um, you're gonna get my taste reaction to these. So don't worry about that. Uh, just stick them back into the mic. And also, these little things, uh, for those that know, I'm a sucker for Belgian chocolate. Belgian chocolate thinnies, I think that's, thins. Um, mint flavoured, I love mint. Um, these remain, they, they, I've had I've had some similar to these before, but I've never had them Belgian chocolate. For those that don't know, remember, there was, a, there, there was something like these a few years ago called Snaps, I believe they were. They basically look like Pringles, but they're chocolate. And they're primarily used for like chocolate, coffee, and... Mum's no, no, muffins and all that, uh, but cupcake, sorry. And uh, I normally just eat them, eat them as is. So you might, get, you're gonna get my taste reaction to these because I've never had them Belgian chocolate before. But I love mint, so yeah, you gotta get the warriors delight these. I've been super tempted to do it. You might either get it tonight or tomorrow. I'll wait and see what happens, but you gotta get that as well. Um, try to think is there anything else I need today? Um, no. Nah, so let's get to the main point of this video, which is. Uh, for those that are unaware, I was offered a chance to apply for uh, N4GTV, which is a new network for geeks, anyway. It's a network for geeks, network for guys, ne network for gamers, network for girls, whatever the hell you want it to be. And it was a new network uh, affiliated with Maker Studios. Um, I got contacted off of one of them, one of the recruitment team, and they offered me a position. They say, uh, could you send in an application form and you, you will probably get in. Uh, so I sent my application form in after much debate, after also some of actually kind of nudged me in that way. And everything was going quite well and uh, I actually got the contract. Uh, the contract is on the internet but um, this is the, I printed it out and had a good long read of it. I actually took a day, to, I actually took the whole, I got it around about 1am last night. I was up quite late last night doing something I probably should have been doing but not that. Jeez, I was playing Jade Empire, fucking love that game. Uh, but I skimmed it at 1am, but I was super tired, so I printed it off and put it in my bag for college so I could read it in college. And then I had a friend of mine, uh, I had a friends of mine, Hesse and Oz, who, by the way, they have a gaming channel. It's a shameless plug, but thanks to, I've got, to, I have to thank them because they did help me a lot with this, with this decision, whether or not I should sign this contract or not. And I want well, to just give them a major shout out because they are awesome. Please go check out their channel. They're, they're actually just under, they're actually, I'm trying to help them out a little bit because they're my friends. But also they're really funny, they always make me laugh. Please go check out their channel. They're taking the bits, taking the bits. I'll leave a link in the description and an annotation somewhere. Please go check them out and please show them some love. Try and at least get them to 50 subscribers because they really could use it and they are awesome. So I want to try and see if I can get them to at least 50 subscribers. Just tell them the warrior sent you. A um, 100 would be amazing and that'd be fantastic. So if you could help them out because they did help me make my decision on this because they are very intelligent. May not seem like it, but they are. And some of you are probably asking, what has what is my decision? Did I send the contract? Have I sent away the contract? Have I decided to join this network? Have I decided not to join the network? Well, let me give you, your, give you my answer. This was more dramatic than that plan. That's my answer. No. I'm not signing this contract. I am not joining the network. The answer is no. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, I'm not going to tell you exactly what's in the contract because I do believe there's some kind of legal issue. If I do tell you and breach of or something, terms and conditions and things like that. Uh, but I'm going to tell you this right now. The contract I don't agree with. I don't agree with... 
do apologize for that. I've got a tweet. Probably shouldn't have linked this up. Sorry about this. I uh, just need to quickly check. I was like checking just in case. Uh, but yeah, that's my answer. I didn't say it because I didn't agree with some of the stuff that's in the contract. The contract, what they advertised as their partnership is not what's in the contract fully anyway. What the, A lot of the stuff they did is in the contract, but I'm not going to say what, but that dramatic. Just had to do that. But some of the stuff in the contract is outrageous in my opinion, and it's blatantly kind of designed to get people who are desperate to get their YouTube channels partnered, partnered. And it kind of takes advantage, in my opinion, of people who don't read contracts, who don't read the fine print, or don't... They use quite a lot of fancy words and uh, a lot of sentence structure and all that. Um, and I did not agree with some of it. Some, I was fine with some of it. Like, this one's kind of on the website. A 60-40 split of any money I make off this channel, which I'm okay with, if I'm going to be honest. It's kind of expected if you're going to be partnered with a network. But a lot of the other stuff that they had in that contract was awful. It was just stuff that I would not feel right doing. I would not feel right because... It's just blatantly designed to make them money and kind of take advantage of uh, someone who's a small-time YouTuber like me. I'm not big, I'm not massive. I, I'm i just a guy with a, cam, a wave cam and a mic who likes to make videos. And I go off with the chance and I just didn't agree with the stuff that's in the contract. It's some of the stuff in the contract would basically hurt my content. It would hurt my channel, in my opinion. Uh, some of the stuff that we're asking in the contract, I don't want to say anything as it says, but it was insulting in my opinion in some instances it's blatantly designed to benefit them them more than the people they are actually benefit that, that are making the content and i don't mean to took my own horn but it's my content if i join a net if I, like, i'll be honest if i was to join a network i would like to have full control of my network or over my channel i don't want to be influenced in any way but the best way to do that is just remain an individual the reason i wanted to join a network is because um some security just basically because I'm an individual, I can be shut down in this, if I'm a part of my network, I can have some people backing me up. But, not this one. This one is just blatantly designed to benefit themselves and not the others. It's just, a lot of the stuff in the contract was just, whoa. And, um, I emailed them and says, I'm not signing this contract. I don't agree with some of the stuff in there. And they got back to me and I'm not going to say what they said. But, it's, it's... <laughs> I'm not saying it, and I would not rec If you have any kind of say in mind, you wouldn't sign this contract, in my opinion. But as I say, this is just merely my opinion, and I'm not signing this bloody contract because it's it's clearly designed to benefit them more than me. And while some aspects of the benefit are good and other aspects aren't, the cons outweigh the pros, in my opinion. I debated it, I thought about it, but I just can't in all good conscience, in my opinion, sign it because it's just... Honest. Now, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I make my content. I like controlling my content. I'm not a great... I'm not a big YouTuber. I probably never will be a big YouTuber. I just do this because it's a hobby and I enjoy it. And really, the idea of someone... Someone, let's just say, influencing my channel because I signed a bit of paper or something makes me sick to my stomach because I don't, don't want that. I will never sell out. I'm going to tell you this right now. I have no intention ever of selling out. I don't... As I say, the only free thing I've ever received is a copy of The Witcher 2. I got that from CD Projekt Red via a contest. I won, a, won it in a contest. They didn't give it to me because I'm a big-time YouTuber. They, I won it in a contest. 1,000 copies were given. I won that, but I don't let that tarnish my opinion. I'm never going to... If a company contacts ever contacted me in the future and says, we want you to review this game, I'll basically just tell them, you see any of this game, I'm being brutally, brutally honest with it. I don't expect any kind of special treatment. I'm honest. I give my opinions. I don't care what people think of my opinion. No, wait, not, not necessarily. I don't care how people think of me. I'm honest. I give my opinion. I don't censor myself, which is one thing I pride myself on. I don't censor myself. I don't bullshit you. I don't do any shitty scoring systems. I give you my honest, brutal opinion on stuff. And I'm not ashamed to admit that my opinions do change, but the majority of him, I'm brutal and honest. And that's what I am. I like doing that. I like doing this content. I like doing my gameplay stuff. I have fun doing it. And I like to have full control over it if possible. And I do have full control over it. I, I decide what goes up on my channel. And the way that contract was, sometimes I wouldn't be able to. And... 
it's just it it doesn't appear it really really insulted me in my opinion um and really it would not have benefited you as either and in the long run what would it have done i'd be part of a network i'd probably gain a couple more subscribers maybe a couple more views here or there but what would it have benefited i would have to have given up something to get that and in my opinion it's not fucking worth it i would rather screw claw and drag my way up to get a thousand subscribers than be part of a network that would be able to try and control me and influence what goes on my channel and stuff like that and have 10,000 subscribers. I'd rather have 1,000 loyal subscribers than 100 million fake subscribers. And we're not far off a thousand, we're all about three, we're at 666 at the moment, which is awesome. Uh, but I want to earn those subscribers, I want to earn your trust, like you, I don't, you subscribe to me, you just give me confidence, you just tell me why you're subscribed to me, you say you enjoy my content, you just like me being brutally honest, I like that, I like the interaction with you, I love talking to you sometimes, a lot of you have messaged me, I have messaged you back, I've contacted, I've got to know some great people via YouTube, like GamerMD83, Alex the Hunted, Sh Sh um, Phantom Lover, Charles, Al, who is an awesome guy by the way, and that's all from me doing it myself. That's what it is. It's me sitting here doing this. And it's benefited me more than anything else. And being part of a network wouldn't do anything. It would do nothing for me at the moment. And like maybe being part of like a massive network like Machinima or the Game Station would do it. But if the Game Station or Machinima contacted me and sent me a contract like this, I would still refuse it because I don't want a contract like this. Um, it's... It's... it's I would not sign a contract no matter how big the network was. If Machinima came to me, like if Machinima messaged me tomorrow and said, we want to offer you a contract, and they sent me a contract like this, I would fly out refuse. I wouldn't care how many subscribers I get, because I'm pretty sure I'd probably get hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but I'd be like, fuck you, no, I'm not taking it. If the game station sent me a contract like that, I would say, no, I'm not accepting it, I don't agree with the contract. As it is, if I ever do decide to join a network, it's going to be the right decision for me personally. And for the channel, in my opinion. And so far, that's not that. That's not that's not in 4G TV. They don't... Their contract, they really need to walk on it, in my opinion. It's bad. I don't agree with it. But if, you've, if, you, if you're partnered with in 4G TV and you agree with the contract and you're willing to do the stuff that's in the contract, that's fine. I'm not judging you. I'm giving my opinion. If you're part of them and you join them and you like them, fair enough. That's your decision. If you think it benefits you in the long run, that's completely fine with me. It's not fine with me. I would rather have full control of my channel. I would rather scrape and claw my way to get my subscribers. I'd rather be stuck on 666 subscribers for the rest of my life than have 666,000 subscribers while I'm not being able to control my channel or be able to do the content that I want to do. I would rather do that. I'm not going to sell out. I'm not going to give up this. I'm not going to give up the clan. I'm not going to give up on yous. Because I like doing this. I enjoy it. I like this freedom. Uh, I know, irony, I'm Scottish and freedom! And I like it. I love it. I like doing this. It's a hobby and it's something I enjoy doing and I hope to be doing it for the rest of my life. Even if I have to get a, Even when I get a job, I'm still going to keep doing this because I love doing it. And... I want control over my channel. I want to do it. I, it's, it this, I don't, don't mean to say this, but this is my content. This is the content that I've created and that I've edited if I have to, that I've uploaded, that I've decided is good enough to go on this channel for you to watch and entertain me, hopefully. And yeah, that's what I want to do with this channel. I don't want to be restricted. I don't want to have a little fucking voice in my head tell me you have to do this, this and this and you can't upload this because it wouldn't be PG or you have to have this specific product in your video or you have to have this and that here or you have to wear this specific type of clothing or you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to shave, you have to get a haircut, you have to bend over backwards for them to basically approve your content and then you've signed a contract and you have to do it. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to sell out. I'm not going to agree to sign something that I don't agree with. So... I know I've probably rammed on for a while, but I just wanted to get that out there. That, in my opinion, the N4G TV network has potential. Is, I see the potential in it, and it's a good idea for a network. I just don't agree with a contract. I will never agree with a contract in the current state that it's in, and I will never sign it, no matter what. I don't care if they offer me 
um, number one spot on their website or something. I'm not signing that fucking contract as in the current state that it's in. I'm not. I never will. And that's my opinion. Um, maybe if the networks, I don't care if this network becomes bigger than Machinima and uh, the TGS, and they come back to me in a year and offer the give me offer me a better position with the exact same fucking contract, I'll still refuse it. I'm not signing that contract in the state that it's in. And I probably never will join a network because too many hoops, too many run-throughs, but I just say if a good offer comes along and the offer I think suits me best, I will join a network. But at the moment, I like being myself. I like being an individual. I like being the wee guy, wee small guy who makes shitty videos on YouTube. I like that. I'd rather do that than part of a network. So... Who knows what the future holds for me? Maybe in a year, another network will come along and offer me a better offer. And if the offer seems right, I'll take it. But at the moment, it's just me. You're going to have to deal with that. Do apologize for me rambling on for like 20 minutes now. But thank you for watching. And this is my decision. And hopefully, you can respect it. And here's to the future clan. And again, thank you for all your support. Thank you for all that. And a big thank you to everyone out there who watches my videos, who likes them, who subscribed, who does everything to do that. Thank you so much. You mean a lot to me because without you I wouldn't keep making these videos. But that's my opinion. So just for anyone who was wondering, I have not I have not joined the network. I have not sold out. I am still the same Scottish warrior. I always have, have been and always will be. And you got you're stuck with me. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. So Thank you for taking this time to watch this video. Hope it's enjoyable. And no offense to the network that offered me. Thank you for the offer, N4G TV. I really do appreciate it. The offer was sincere. It was a good opportunity. I'm not signing the contract because I do not agree with it. So thank you again for the offer. I do feel humbled that they did offer me this because it proved, it kind of shows that I am getting out there and people are watching my videos and they see potential in the channel. And maybe in the future we'll see what happens. But at the current moment, I like being I like being myself. I like being an individual. So thank you anyway, N4G TV. But no, I'm not joining your network ever. If your contract stays like that. So that's my honest opinion. Thank you for watching. And here's to the next set. Here's to the future. Here's to the clan. And thank you for watching. As always, I'm Scottish Warren 92. And I'll see you all later. Ciao for now. Mwah.